As we know, we've been experiencing drought conditions for months, but thankfully in recent weeks, we've had rounds of rain that has slowly improved our conditions. So rather than a portion of the county being in extreme drought and the remainder of the county being in severe drought, the new drought monitor released on December 7th shows all of Escambia County in moderate drought. To make the news even better, we have more rain on the way, which will help to chip away just a little bit more at what we are seeing here. So there's a frontal system. It's well off to our west right now, still getting itself organized, but it will slowly track east over the next few days and into the weekend. Don't be surprised at any isolated showers and maybe even a rumble of thunder on Friday. So to be safe, I would keep the rain gear nearby. Now, as we move into Saturday, the front is inching closer to us. It will continue tracking east, bringing with it more scattered shower and thunderstorm activity. It looks like Saturday evening into Sunday will be the time period of more widespread activity. So as for Saturday's severe weather threat, the risk is definitely greater off to our west for places like Texas, Arkansas, Tennessee, Louisiana, and Mississippi. But for us here at home in Escambia County, a level one out of five risk does exist for us. The potential threats look to be strong winds, maybe even some hail. And of course, we can never rule out an isolated tornado. So what do you want to do? You want to stay up to date with changes over the next couple of days and be sure to have multiple ways to receive your weather information. Now, as for rain, we look to receive just over one inch. And again, that is very good news to get us through our drought conditions. Here's a look at temperatures because they will definitely be dropping after the front pushes through. We'll be left with cooler and definitely drier air. So highs on Saturday, look at that in the 70s and then highs on Sunday, they'll be in the 60s. Sunday night though, even colder. Temperatures going to drop into the 30s. And please remember that is the threshold under 40 degrees. That waterfront rescue mission will open for cold weather sheltering. As we move into the work week, temperatures do not look to make it out of the 50s. Thanks for spending a minute with EM.